Alright, welcome back. Uh, we're on episode 9 with the uh, Electric Owl here and Bald Eagle. Hello. We're going to uh, bring you up to date on... Uh, uh, I put out a episode 8B um, just to do some stuff. Let's see, what did we do? We uh, think, I don't remember if I did it last uh, on episode 8 or 8A, but we have... It doesn't really show, but the drilling arm and the grappling arm on that. I went ahead and uh, went and topped off that of uh, the titanium. I got a good amount of uh, no, that's not it. Uh, I got some more uh, magtite and lithium. Not that much copper. But maybe we do have it. Hang on. I thought. Nope. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Did I leave it? Nope. Okay. I thought I got one. Uh, but we'll show you real quick uh, in case you. Uh, whatever. Real quick. The, wow. This is the big thing I did last time. Was I moved the scanner it used to, uh, oh maybe I uh, did I not do it on this one did I do it on my wrong one let's see let's go see hold it let's go see what this looks like we might be on the uh, wrong uh, map nope this is it this is the one we made Okay, so I think we need to redo this then, maybe. Let's go see. Yep, it looks like I might have done it on the wrong map. Or maybe I didn't take take it apart. Yeah. No, I did. Okay. So what we do is we come boom. There's the dead uh, snake. It's just sitting there. Or maybe it's not dead. I don't know. That's not it. That's the wrong way. Let's do it this way, I guess. There they are. Camera 11. I uh, changed because of that snake. Uh, was, those snakes keep biting this thing. I decided to add a moon pool under here. Yeah, which will protect it while I'm out swimming around. But what we're going to do is we're going to run back real quick. And grab the prawn suit and start drilling these big things. back real quick grab the prawn suit now we need uh, magtite diamonds oh we need to make the oops I wasn't looking where I was driving <laughs> very dangerous yeah, we need both of those But 
we'll head over to uh, Life Pod 4 first because that's the easy one to do. Uh, for, so uh, that's the it's easy traveling, I should say. That's what we'll be doing. Come around like this. Park it. And yeah, the repair Welcome mod, aboard, the self-repairing is a modification. It's not in the base game, so you do have to pull out the old uh, re repair thing or repair uh, gun and, and fix. Uh, just double check what we got here. I should take some food along. I should take some food. We still only got two. Sometimes they it starts multiplying. Uh, da, da, da. What should we take? What should we, we'll take uh, some Chinese potato and a one ball. Actually, we need two. We'll have one right now. And it looks like we take one small water to start getting rid of that okay now we're going to jump in the prawn suit and head out and drill so now again uh, welcome aboard captain okay uh, no that's not it can I, how can I bring it up? Uh, no. Well, oh, hold it. I don't have the drill. We haven't made the drill yet. We got to make the drill. Okay, so. Yeah, so. What do we need to make the drill? Oh, I can get it. Yeah, that's right. So, diamonds, so, one, two, three, four, five to ta uh, titaniums, and one lithium. And then we need to go to blueprints. You know what? Uh, let's make the sonar. How much copper? Yeah, we don't. Do we have a copper wire? We don't. But what we're doing is getting copper so we can use these two up. Make a copper wire. And then two, two magnetites. Or no. Yeah, two. So we have enough for the drill arm. Okay. And then the sea moth, we have enough for the sonar. What does the sonar do? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's really good when uh, it sort of outlines things. Now, again, because I have the mod, I can put more, but uh, you only have these four generally, so you'd have to lose one of your storage modules. But because I have that, I can do that. We'll show, eh, you know what? I'll tell you what. We'll just drop down real fast and just show you what it looks like. This is what the sonar looks like. If I can remember how to do it. Um, I think it's seven, uh, six, five, four, no. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, try eight. Eight. Whoa. 
that's the solar. It uses power. Yeah, it's it's really good when you're going through dark caves. And that. But yeah, you just I I have it selected so normally you're it's on one through four, and you have it, and then the left button, left mouse button does it. undo it. So that's what that is. Okay, let's see, we're all set, right? Yeah, we're all set. I'm not going to put the drill arm in yet because I want to show you what it's like uh, without it first. Okay. Uh, the left hand, the left is uh, just the regular, the one that comes with. You can actually grab things with it. So if we were to find uh, a uh, metal something, we could grab it. We'll get to it. Now I have the, uh, the arm on the right one. So That's where we're good. Okay. So, uh, space bar has the jump thing. Bottom right, you see a little purple bar that goes up and down. As long as you're pushing it, it, it decreases. But once you let go, it starts recharging, per se. So, a uh, neat way to do this is you use this. And, and then you also have the A and the D key. So, you can drift left and drift right while you're going forwards. So you boom, and then it just you start going. You also have the uh, W key to go forwards, but it works really well when you get down and you you push the right mouse button, hold till it grabs, and then just before it gets back to you, you do it again, and it just keeps going, and you go faster and faster until you run out of uh, the purple bar. Bars all the way up. Too high. And you can hold on to the side like this. Well, you can't really stay where you are. It keeps going up. Because once you left, let go of the right mouse button, you're going to detached. And I'm using the space bar to climb or with the built-in jet things. So now we'll find something on the ground and I'll show you. There it is. Not that I really want to, but boom. And I grabbed it with the left. Now that is in our storage. That's what that is. Okay, now, but what I want... Now, the drill arm is now in the left side. Cool. It's no longer the grab arm. This is a drill arm now. So what we will do is come over here. And we got these two little guys here. Those are not one. Yeah, generally there's about 12 to 14 but we don't need titanium. We're good on titanium. So what we're going to do is come down here and get the copper. And you let, just hold the left mouse button. Don't know what it is on the uh, consoles. You just keep holding it and it just goes into your storage behind you automatically. Move around a little bit or just stay still. Just keep watching it in the upper left. Keep adding. And you, and you can do a little bit of this, or you can do it all. Um, and then, uh, and you don't have to do only copper. You can, you know, we could go up and do the lead after this if we wanted to. And it's all gone. I think a lot of it. Nope. 
No, it, it looks like that, but no, it doesn't. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So, yeah. No, it, it grabs it all. But actually, what we're going to do, come up here. And it really won't help us much. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because it doesn't distinguish, but. Must be still going because it doesn't show the lead or anything like that. So, but we will do that. We'll have it run lithium. Oh, maybe because it's uh, it was dark on it when we left, so it just started uh, got power again. Now, let's go find something else. Uh, and just before you hit the ground, you know, you don't want to hit it full force, so you slow yourself down. There you go. And there's lithium. Yeah, it, but it doesn't differentiate between the small ones and the big ones. So if it showed, it could show us, you know, by the time we're done with this, it'll probably show us 15. 20 of them. You, you don't know if it's a big one or an individual. If you're on PC, there used to be a mod. I don't know if it still works with the 2.0 update or not. Well, th this is a mod. It, or no, that's right. That, that's not a mod. Yeah, they, they could. But you know what? It's sort of like, eh, you know, do it yourself. Come on, people. You know, kind of thing. Hmm. Uh, let's go get these. Yeah, a little bit. I should have came here first before running around. We were looking for it after the yeah. thermal oh, reactor. Board, Captain. Okay, yeah. Like that one, you can tell because it's up in the air. It's attached to one of these things. It's obviously not a massive it's not a uh, a, a group of, or it's a, it's not a uh, drillable one but generally there is stuff uh, around the outside here that you can drill oh I didn't show you Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. We got 13 lithium out of that one. Okay. That's real awesome. Really handy. Yes. Yeah, finding the big things are really nice. Uh, no. Okay. I think that's an egg, maybe? Or no? Yeah, that's an egg. So what we're going to do is head back to, we'll do a, a wide sweep here, and then head back to uh, the, uh, that's something to do with the Cyclops, yeah. A full fragment. Near blueprint acquired. And we can make it. Cool. We can make all that stuff. Oh, but in speaking of... Oh, that's right. I wanted to do the... But let's go... Get rid of the sonar. We don't need that on there anymore. Okay. Uh, but like I said, we'll head around the outside here. See if we see another uh, large deposit. And if not, we'll just head back. One. That one could be on. There could be one on the side of the mountain right there, but I don't know if there is. Yeah, there could be. Um. But since we are here. 
Yeah, and you can you can uh, drill those guys and can hurt them. With that grabbing arm, you can uh, poke things too and hurt them. Now you can't uh, with the you can't do that uh, with the drill arm. So, but if we had the grabbing arm, you could have grabbed that crystal. move pretty nicely with this thing actually Pushing the forward button. Jump. Boom. Uh, and yeah, you can grab these uh, creatures and stuff with that uh, grappling arm. So you can grab a leviathan and then use the drill to try and kill it. I would not suggest it, but you can. Just have to grab the log. Yeah, and I was under a ledge, so I couldn't get up. Gonna come back real quick and uh, drop off what we got. You sort of could, but it, you, you need to be in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get up there this time. Let's head back down, get a full load of air again, or whatever it is you use. Yeah, yeah whatever it is. I, sometimes I Welcome put um, board, those, uh, uh, yeah, these things. Is that not up? Yeah. Take it. They must have got rid of it with the, that update. There used to be uh, a flat thing it was a, a bracing uh, thing and you could put stuff on it so you could put just this oh no there it is yeah foundation so uh, there we go okay uh, let's get everything out of it get it over here okay. we'll come back Still looking for more copper. Because, uh, did I have any lithiums in there? Yeah. Because um, I want to put name tags above all these, and it takes two copper to make one copper wire and one copper wire to make the sign. That's a yes. No, 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 no. It's just me. It's just me. Okay, now let's eat these because they're getting a little decomposed. Yeah. 
They actually uh, took away water because they were decomposed. Stabilizing. So I think what I want to do is go get me one or two fish. Since we're getting the salt now. It's right here. There it is. Since we're getting the salt, just do the cured salt and it's Can grab that. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. It's funny yeah. how, how the frog seals just stay there, like literally sitting in the water. I made one of these guys. And that was, yeah, med pack is here. Head back over here and make some. But, you know, we'll do that. We'll do it first. Boom. And now with the, the water thing, that thing's really nice. Keep getting salt. So long as you keep fish out the water. Alright, now what I wanted was to make one of these, so I need two leads. Drop down to two of those and lead, 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 lead. This one. Show you what I mean by what I do. Yeah, okay. Boom. Boom. Now, because of that. Uh, Thing. you can't put it wherever you want but now we have a nice little thing here that we can jump on to and sort of help you line up to get where you need to be after one or two times we'll learn where we need to stand on that platform and just go straight up from there okay so let's get us some more Could use one or two of these. Get the health up or the food up. There we go. Now we have the fish. But we don't need that many fish. Yeah, this stuff lasts forever. Okay, let's do that. We got two waters. We got food. All right. Let's go to the other place to get more drilling stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard. Yeah, see how we landed on this thing? So now we know in this corner, yeah, just like this, we can jump out. So actually, we're looking for camera 11. Down. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just want to make sure it's on. And what color is it? Three. Yeah, I want these two. Yellow. Boom. Yeah, camera 11. 
caveman. Camera three, we don't need. I don't know what that's for. We don't need that one. Okay. Because we're heading for the Magnet Cave and then we jump down to 11. I did make one of those uh, beacons and put it in the hole. Now, you pretty much, well, I can't. I cannot get out of these without the grappling arm. That's why we waited until we had all of that. And that's, uh, let's just fall down in here. Well, we need copper, silver, gold, lithium, lead, and magnetite. So, yeah, pretty much titanium. Right. And right there is the magnetite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yep, there's a magnet. So. Just do this. I don't know if, uh, if it's true or not, but it does seem like the harder the metal or the material, the longer it takes to do it. Like copper is pretty quick compared to the other ones, but if you don't, if you don't see anything, there you go. Okay. Uh, so, 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 we can just go. I know there's a bunch around here. I just don't remember now where it all was. Got our gold. I think that's gold there. We need that. This is where if you could do multiplayer on this would be really cool. Because one person would, would come with the sea moth. And you know you transfer it there while one guy's heading it, taking it back to your base. Oh, the other yeah. guy keeps uh, digging, but there is no uh, multiplayer in Subnautica. We need to add that. that would be great. Well, it'd have to be a lot bigger maps, I think. Yeah. Plus, of course, the like the uh, uh, the big sub would actually have to have. Eh, I guess not. You don't really need anything different in the big sub. It's not like there's any birthing compartments on that thing anyway. And everything would go so much quicker too. 
Well, that's why it would have to be a bigger map. It'd just be too fast. Yeah, see. And then what you do a lot of times is yeah, you uh, move it to your personal storage so you can get even more going. The nice thing is that all you got to do is worry about your uh, food and water because oxygen is not a problem like you, you know when you're just driving around. Let's just get a little bit more. Probably won't do the whole thing. Just get some more. Yeah, we, we will. We'll take it all because we can't get everything in this one trip anyway. So we'll get what we can. Really would like to find some silver too. And another copper. We'll head back, we'll see if that scanner can find any copper. Do you have the uh, bronze suit yet on your game? And yeah, you know, that's a nice. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. Yeah, uh, I disabled or I took down that scanner that was up on top. It looks like the two cameras were still left up there. Um, but so, can, is there any silver? No, bummer. Okay. So we have magtite out there, but it's not showing gold either. Huh. I know there's more than one gold. Interesting. Uh, let's do the lithium, right? Yeah, because we already got a magtite, so. Okay. Yep, right there it is. I don't think that's a big one. It'd be really cool if you could get pipes for like storage and you would suck it to another storage area so you could put the pipes welcome to old captain any of your scanners put a wall locker in there and then leave the pipes to you you can oh you could yeah you, you're talking about oops uh you're talking about these things right no i mean like Pipes will suck. So the pipes will suck. 
whatever's in the wall locker all the way to your normal base. So you want a conveyor belt kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, where is it? There it is, right? Yeah, okay. Yep, up there. Oh, what do we got here? Magtite. Uh, I should probably go back and shut off the scanner. You don't want all that stuff popping up on our map all the time. There might be a way to turn that off that I don't know of. But I don't know how to do it remotely. Since it's built into the game itself, there probably is some kind of key or something that will let you do that. Let's go turn this off. Now, if we had the uh, the assisted jet uh, pack stuff, it'd be very easy. But we don't. So you don't climb as much. I got caught in here or something. There we go. Let's get out of this. Try it again. as far as we can. Hold on to the side. Let the uh, purple bar redo itself. Go forward and let go. Now quit going forwards. So we hold on with the, the bar, or with the uh, grappling arm, get our purple bar back up, push forward, let go, and climb. Maybe quit moving forward, just go straight up, getting down there, shoot the thing out, one more time. And we're out. So boom. And we're out. Okay. And zero in our faces that way. Let's see. 
Yeah, you can grapple. See what is it? Forty-five minutes. Oh. Let's let's make a few things when we get back. Let's thank the big uh, big boy. And then uh, we can go. Is there anything in that thing? Now, because we had moved everything out of the, uh, or not everything, we moved a lot out of the storage of the prawn suit, we can't pick up anything personally anymore. So if I were to climb out, I couldn't grab anything. I'd have to put some stuff back into the storage of the prawn suit. Full purple, just go on up. Oof. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, it catches Captain. you. Okay, let's put everything away first, then we'll grab what we need for each individual thing. That's gold, right? Gold's here? Yeah. A lot of gold. Magtite's here, right? Yep. We'll be going through plenty of that. Especially once you get the uh, once you get the big ship, we'll be going through. We'll, we got to build a whole nother uh, base in the sense in the uh, ship. Mm -hmm. That way you don't you can do everything while you're out and about. You don't have to come back here to do everything. That's why you really got to plan things out once you get to that thing. Okay, we, uh, yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's do a couple little things here first. Uh, we need the depth module for from the CMOS. So come here, grab that, pull it over. And I need one emerald or enameled glass. Right. Yeah, one of these, right? And two magnet tights. And generally, I'm not positive, but I think it's here that we do it. Yeah, because it's it's a it's an upgrade kind of thing. Seamoth depth module M2. Boom. Since we got it out, I think we have everything for the three. So I need one more pledge steel and three rubies. So we can go all the way to. Uh, Step module three, which is the last one. There are mods which allow you to go even far deeper, but I believe this one now lets us go to 900 feet in the sea moth. That is huge. Yeah, which is the starting depth for the. Oops, wrong one, wrong one. Starting depth for yep, 900 meters. For the uh, Orion, or whatever. Um, Prawn suit. No, the well, yeah, but also. Let's see. Get rid of the depth module. One should be here. 
No, it's in the modification. Yeah. Don't need that anymore. The Cyclops. Oh, where is it? Prawn suit. Cryonite. We. That's not for a while yet. So let's make our, uh, oops, looks like we need two of the, uh, whatever they're called, creep vine seed clusters. And then we need uh, one titanium. one and then one copper wire which is yeah see we go through the copper so fast that I really want to go back out and get some more copper because you really do go through a lot of copper I do I do okay now we can make the pathfinder this is really really nice in those uh, big wrecks where you're going through tunnels left and right. This that is really nice because what you do is you uh, select it and then you well you can't do it inside. Let me show you out. Let's get in some water. Boom. I think there are some yeah. There's something over here, right? Got the the hold to the. Uh, let's, let's find a. Well, actually, this works. All right. Plop it out. Boom. All right. Yep. That's uh. But. Now. See the arrow? It's pointing to the first one you, you did. So if you were in, so if you put them in your, uh, in those tunnels and everything, it would point to the... It would point you out the tunnel, or which, which tunnel and stuff like that. So it's pointing to this one over here. This one doesn't point anywhere because that's the first one you drop. So you start where you're, you you want to be outside and you work your way in. Down there at the bottom to clear nodes, nodes, you press F and they're all back in your thing. It, it's more impressive when you're in tunnels and stuff but or in the big wrecks because when you lose your way you know you got like uh, you have a, a cut door on two different walls and you're coming through, oh, which one is the one? You know, just stuff like that. Uh, yeah, the first time, well, I don't know how, like, it, it wouldn't put it down on the floor in here, so I don't know how good in the Aurora that would work. So I like to drop it in here for when I go to big, big uh, wrecks so I can grab it out of there. Because I generally don't go looking at wrecks in this. Now, of course, once we get the uh, Cyclops, the Cyclops uh, that uh, can move there because I do use it with the Cyclops to try and remember where I came from. Seriously. Uh, I haven't been down in the deep waters a lot, so... Okay, there it is. All right, let's get these other two real... No, let's, okay, let's do the Cyclops. Start with this. Uh, we got one, one, two, one, two. Let's make those. Okay. Need one more of those. We have liquid or a lubricant. Three lead and one is 
Is that the advanced yeah, wire? Yeah, that's the advanced wire in here. Okay, I don't think we have a wire yet. Yeah, we do. Okay, so what do we need for the advanced? Two gold and a computer chip. So what are you gonna? Uh, no, I don't think we can call rename the Orion or the uh, Cyclops. You keep saying the Orion. Yeah, no, I don't think we can rename it. If I remember correctly, we're right up here now, right? Yep, right there. Yep, plenty of room. Vehicles and cyclops. Be advised, the cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. It is. Tiny Splashford thing that big, though. And you can, as far as I know, this is the only way to board. You're at the front. You come up here to the front. Boom. Welcome aboard, Captain. So you've got uh, a nice uh, storage here. Built in storage. Yeah, but we'll show what's there. This is where the Cyclops will come in, and it stores in here. Not the Cyclops. The, uh, the Cyclops. The, pr in. the prawn suit. Come up. And this is the back of the ship. We'll put some food back here. This is where you make the stuff. Depth module. No, that, that one's easy. We can make that one our own. Uh, we can make that one. The efficiency thing. The shield generator. Don't know about the ingredients yet. The sonar. This one, you definitely need the, son the sonar. Uh, fire suppression we can do. And the decoy tube upgrade. And then those go on the other side in here. Now, fortunately, you can do six. Generally, you can do six. I got that mod thing, which screws things up. So I can do more, but you don't really need. Uh, and then this is where the deploy uh, decoy launcher goes. And like the Cyclops decoy, decoy tube upgrade. It uh, Right now, this only holds one. If you put that thing in, you can put five of them in here. And that, that's nice when you got the Leviathan or something messing with you. Because you start taking off and you drop one and it'll stay behind you. This is just the... Uh, uh, the mini map of the... Uh, representation of your ship. Uh, the health thing up there. This is uh, just toggle the internal lights. External lights. Now these stay on or off when you leave. So if you, you know, you leave, you might as well turn it off. Oh, you can name it. Okay, you need to come up with a name for this thing. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but the big thing is here. You come here and you pilot. First you gotta turn the engine on and there's a, uh, oh, let's do that. Powering. your speeds. I generally leave it on the middle one, except for when we get into close tidings, then I put it on the slow. The fast one just sucks power. This is your external camera. Underneath, what it does, you click that, and we are underneath the front of the ship. We can look behind us, but it allows you to navigate and see a little bit better. And then E to exit, like it says, and you're back here. Silent running. We don't have any uh, decoys. That's what this is. And then once you get the sonar, it shows up here too. Quick little, uh, I guess that's the noise, how much you're making. Of course, the more noise you make, the more uh, attention you're going to receive. And your health of the, the sub. Uh, and then you just do the W, A, S, D keys to drive. 
uh, your depth. Okay, we can only go to 500. I thought we could go to 900. So that we'll need the depth module one, but it's very easy. Plat steel and three rubies, I believe it said. Your battery. Okay, exit out of here. Speaking of batteries, three uh, energy cells, not batteries, power cells on each side. Uh, and then uh, when the uh, Cyclops is in there, you're going to uh, get to its storage through here and uh, remove the storage and put stuff. And the Cyclops is in the Cyclops. So, uh, and then of course, I think uh, you can rename it and stuff, just like that other thing. Um, so that's what this thing is. Um, and generally what you, you, you put some lockers in here and uh, generally uh, if you can, uh, pretty close to this thing is where you put that um, uh, upgrade. Uh, Vital signs stabilizing. The upgrade thing, because to go from uh, depth module two or one to two or two to three, you need to take it out. Well, where you get that stuff, you're already below the level of it, so you have to do it quickly. So that's what that is. But yeah, you just uh, I build. Uh, we'll we probably I, we, there's no reason for it because you can do this how you want. But, you know, you put a fabricator here or something. You really don't need the radio in here because, you, as you can probably tell, we have not gotten a radio message in a very long time. That's pretty much all done. So you put the fabricator. You put uh, a first aid kit generator here probably if you want somewhere. Uh, but the what is, we don't have it. But what I want to show you, which is a new trick I didn't know about, I just saw it in a video a little while ago. Let me uh, go get some titanium real quick. Welcome aboard, uh, Generally, th these are the ones that I make, uh, and I put them in there. And I and I still would, or I still will, I should say, in my subs, but. I want to be here. That's right. Okay. If you take the small one, oh, no. oh, that's weird. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay. You go off to the side and you build it like that. You can still get into that one. You can now get into yours. And then you put uh, another one. Okay, so it's just that first one that was doing it. Go like that. So they're not as big as the big ones, but you could put, well, you, come, you get one, two, three, four, five. You can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight more. So you could have 13 storage containers on that wall. And then you could do probably 12, 11 or 12 on this wall. Well, no, because you can't do the double up, but you could put a bunch of them here. Here, you might want to use the, uh, the bigger ones like that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But uh, generally, on this, I just use this on this wall. That way, you have plenty of room in the middle. But where I do use, I use the big ones up here. Um, I generally put one here, one there, one there, one there, and then if you want, uh, generally you can put two across here. And you know, titanium. Uh, but one, you know, but that was before I had all those downstairs. Um, 
because now downstairs you can put a full locker of gold, a full locker of silver. You can put a full locker of everything, pretty much. Liquids, and then up here you'd put your the ones that you need all the time. Titanium, uh, maybe a locker that's just for, uh, you decide uh, to uh, make a locker that has everything you need to put a scanner, a moon pool, you know, and one, uh, one length of, uh, of uh, compartment so you can put a storage box or two in there. Well, actually, you can do that in the uh, in the moon pool. You can put storage boxes in the moon pool, so you don't even need that. Um, but you would need that, or uh, uh, you would need a multi-purpose room if you want to do the bioreactor. If you're in a place where you don't get the heat, uh, so you can't use the thermal reactor. You have to use the bioreactor. You'd have to have the uh, scanner room plus the multi-purpose room. Yeah, there really is no re reason for the uh, moon pool because you'll be taking uh, the submarine and the cyclops sits, the, the prawn suit sits in here. That's that's a pretty good spot. We're at an hour and five. That's pretty, actually that's pretty much all. Uh, I think next time, because uh, this is just to get let you know where things are. I think I'll show you the um, Lost River. I think is what we'll look at. Uh, the Lost River, or uh, I don't know what it. I call it the Lost River. I don't know. Uh, so we'll get the Lost River, but then yeah, we do need um, uh, a couple things. So we need the Kyanite. So we'll need to find out where the Kyanite is, and this is where we'll be taking the submarine. Uh, we need more nickel ore, but that's uh, where the Lost River is, I believe. And uh, yeah, the crystalline sulfur, because we need that for some of the uh, upgrades. So I think offline, what we'll do is we'll organize this ship some, uh, get some uh, storage containers in here, uh, get some uh, the fabricator built, and. Uh, We'll make some decoys and some uh, other stuff. And then the next time will be the last one. We'll, we'll go do the Lost River, show you where that is. Uh, the lava thing. Because uh, this is just a beginner's guide. Because then you can uh, go off and uh, make your bases. Uh, look throughout the whole uh, map. Find it. And then uh, I'll, at the, in the next one, I'll tell you about uh, who I watch so that you can uh, find some other stuff and then link it at the end. But yeah, I think we're pretty good there. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and have yourself a good day. See you we next gone. Bye-bye. See you next time.